Well, good morning, one and all, and welcome along to episode number 100 and something or other. I can't remember what it is exactly, unfortunately, of our Snooker 19 Rising Star career mode. And we are here for the final match in the group stage of the Champions League winners. And our final opponent is the world number six, the Pistol, Mark Allen. Uh, cracking player, as uh, a couple of lads up in Manchester would say. Should uh, should actually be world champion, if we're being completely honest, but uh, he's not. Yet, anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get this out of the way. We've uh, already qualified, I do believe, for the next round. So, uh, we'll see if... Uh, and it can go in style. Will Rob Walker will do the introductions for us. And without further ado, let's get these two boys firmly on the bays. See if Elliot can uh, win another match uh, in this league. So this is the last match of the group stage of the Championship League. It's match six. At this point, most players know their fate, but it's one last opportunity. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Mark Allen to break. It's going to be Mark Allen that will uh, get us off in the uh, first frame, ladies and gentlemen. That looks a pretty decent break, but he has left a chance for Elliot, and we know uh, Elliot does like to take uh, these kind of chances here. So this is the uh, final match, folks, of the... Uh, He'll play this with plenty of power. ...of the group stage, Mulligan. That's a good shot right there. Now... One. What colour is he on? Because he might be on the blue. He's on the blue. So yeah, this is the uh, the final match of the group stage. We know Elliot's qualified. We just need to know who's uh, going to qualify with him. I imagine... Uh, well, pot's on. well I, I, you actually don't it. know who's uh, going to qualify here. As that blue goes in. What a really blue. Aggressive potting there. An absolute fantastic looking blue, folks. Six. It's going to take uh, this red here in the middle of the table. It's uh, sitting here doing the combined total of nothing. Put a nice bit of a uh, screw on it. Try and not go in off on the uh, middle pocket. If he's uh, good, he's on the blue. Excellent pot. He's lost the cue ball. A and touch there's here. a case of where's your next red? Mind you, the reds are nicely, uh, nicely scattered around. So uh, he can he can ba basically make a shot here. He's got to place with a lot of topspin to try and uh, negate <coughs> anything here. He's got a red. I see a red into the middle pocket. He's hit the black. That might work out, you know. Twelve. That might work out because the red near the corner pocket. Oh, he can't see it. Okay. Uh. I don't think he's on anything. If we're being completely honest, the only red I can see him being on is this one that's just above the black. But that is fraught with danger. Absolutely fraught with danger, this one. Tough shot coming we'll Give up. it a go, but... Uh... Oh, that's what a great a shot. Pot. That's a cracker. Great and he might shot. be on the blue we'll here. Happy with that. I, I did not think that that shot would go in, but uh, that is a cracking shot. He's uh, negating the blue. He's going for the green instead. I like this uh, shot because he can play this just as a stun shot. In goes the green. And look 16. at all these reds in the near the corner pocket. He's got an absolute choice here. He can pick any red he wants. He might be putting a He's little bit of screw on this right to corner. try and hold for the pink. No problem. That there. might have gone a bit too far for the pink. What he may have to play for the yellow part. here. Seventeen. Or can he see Well, can he see the black? I don't think he can. So yeah, play for the yellow. And uh, he's aiming for the left corner. We'll see here. where this goes. Plenty of backspin on the yellow. Well, an excellent pot. He's got he uh, really optional here with moment. reds. Nineteen. And uh, the first option is that red right in the middle of the table. Now this should get him on the pink. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. There you go. This will oh, bring the pink back into play, hopefully. Great technique. Superb queuing. 20. Because the one thing we do need is this is a high valued colour in play. 26. 
So he's going to take this red. And I imagine what's done back. Oh, he's going to roll through. No, he's not. He, yes, he's going to roll through. I think he's going to try and get the black back on its spot here as well. Play this as a sort of a two-way shot. If he's not on the black, he's on the pink. 27. Well, he's on the black quite easily. Now, my only concern with this is that uh, the black might be going onto a covered spot as a nice little stun Nicely played cannon onto, onto the, the uh, pink and the red. Yeah, that's uh, what I thought would happen. So he's going to have to look for a, a way to play the pink here. Nice stun run through for the pink. If he can't get the pink, Nicely the blue looks the practically black. straight. Or does 35. that black pass this red? I think for the way he's playing it, this black... Oh, it passes easy. That's an unfair wow! error. I thought that passed. I honestly thought that passed there. Elliot Slesser, 35. Stone me and tickle me pink and all that as well. That'll bring Mark Allen to an open table. One. And that is not uh, what we needed. Although, to be fair, he has Six. won this... Uh, he has won this uh, advance, I should say, to the uh, next round. So we'll see what uh, what happens as the uh, red goes in there for Mark Allen. In goes the pink. 18. Now, which red's he going to... I think he's going to play for this one near the corner pocket here. He should play for the one near the corner pocket. It's a natural... Uh, 14. To get back on the uh, pink, and he did play that one. So he'll play the pink now. Hopefully he'll, uh, he'll play the pink. There you go. 20. And then this red above the uh, black spot. The one that's basically screwed Elliot over. And we, we are not impressed with it in the slightest. 21. I... You, if you looked at it from behind, it actually looked like it went. So maybe 26. he just uh, overestimated it or something. It went the blue. He's got choices on reds again. He's back up 27. for the blue. Now, the key reds here are going to be these two around the black spot. 32. Around the black here. The one will definitely pot. And that's the one to its left that he's just played there. Oh, but that's a bad kiss on the blue. That's a bad kiss on the blue for the Northern Irishman. Oh, but he makes up for it with a great shot. Now, the key red now is going to be that one above the black. 39. If it doesn't pass the black, well, he, he went for the black Mark there. Allen, 39. Now, Elliot can roll this in. Well, he's going top corner. I, I wouldn't be going top corner here. I'd be, uh, I'd be trying to roll this, this into the middle. He's missed it. And there's why I wouldn't have gone top corner. Yeah, okay, it was a bigger target. But now you've left the table wide open for Mark Allen. That's uh, that's not what you needed to do. One. <sighs> Excuse me. In goes uh, the red. The black next. So I would say this uh, first frame is going to be at uh, Mark Allen's mercy here. We are begging him for mercy. <laughs> We're begging him for mercy. 13. And some would say Mark Allen will give no mercy. There goes the brown. 17. Blue, pink and black. 22. Should seal this uh, first frame. Well, if the frame's already sealed. But uh, in will go the black. And that's the first 35. frame and the to first Mark frame, Allen. Mark so, he's nudged in front. Thank you. The second frame, Elliot Slesser to break. Uh, Elliot uh, will get us underway in the second frame here. And that's, uh, that's a good break there. Now, he may be leaving that red on. And if he does leave that red on, well, that could be a problem. But Mark Allen's not going to take it. Elliot will take it, though. Except he got a nice straight red here. <coughs> the Fancy good old red. straight red. That's like an that. excellent opening and red. He played it as a screw as well to get up onto the blue. Now, one. how are you going to play this? Uh, 
How are you going to play this? He's going to play this That's with really pace, good and he's and close to cluster. Opportunity. Is he on one? I think he is. That, there's Six. a red at the top of the pack here that looks like it pots. Yes. So, now the only problem with this is he's going to be running into reds. So he's having to play this with this stun to, to try and get pocket. the other side of the black. Well, it, that's if it went in. Like that in this match. That's if it went in, folks. And now you've left an open table for Mark Elliot Allen. Flesser, six. Oh, dear. Well, Mark Allen has got the table at his mercy here. And I do mean the table at his mercy. And goes the first red. <coughs> Excuse me. Mark Allen, one. But he's back at the table. He's missed the yellow. Wow. So what? what's he left? He's not, not left anything. He's not really left anything. I mean, Elliot might have to play this red as a really slow one. Try and hug it to the cushion as uh, best as he it. can. Because uh, if he can... Uh, if he could do that, well, it didn't even go in. Must have hit the near knuckle. Mark Allen back at the table. <clears throat> That's things you uh, never want to see. That. But uh, now he's back at... Elliot's back at the table. Mark and Elliot are just... They're really edgy in this uh, second frame, folks. Gonna play the plant, that's an easy plant. Now, what colour you on? Does that red get in the way of the blue? It doesn't. One. So I would say the blue is the shot to play here. It's it's gotta be the shot to play. And if you can connect this nicely, you might stun onto one of these reds. Long potter he is, so but I'd it's all about getting that on. perfect connection. And he's got it. What a magnificent Now look at all these is. reds lining up here. Six. I don't suppose he can play for the black, can he? No, he's uh, screwing this back up towards the blue spot. Not that that's uh, got a lot of screw in it. So he may, may play for the green here. <clears throat> play for the green and screw this off the side cushion. No, he's going to play it with top spin. I don't blame Playing him for this shot. That uh, topspin shot looks a good shot. And Bang! In it goes. He's right. Oh, he may drop onto this red at the, at the top of the cluster. That is almost perfect. Ten. Now, my only concern is what red, what colour he's going to be on. He's looked like he's studded across for the blue here. Eleven. He is, and is that blue straight? Well, does the pink pass that red? I don't think the pink passes this red, you know. No, it doesn't. Is it a straight blue? It's not quite. It's just off straight. But uh, I reckon even with a bit of stud run through, there you go, he'll be on one of Very three well reds. Played. Take your pick. 16. He's going to pick the one nearest the pink here. I, I like this because that'll clear the pink out of the way if he gets uh, on it. Round three cushions, and that is a perfect shot on the blue. That is a perfect 17. shot on the blue, folks. The black doesn't pot. We've got to get a red out of the way to pot that. <coughs> but uh, he's going to try and stud this blue into the pack and try and uh, split the pack up. Well, he didn't do too badly. He's still got a red. My only concern is what colours are going to come from this. He's going to try and break up the red and the yellow here. And if he's if the yellow's good, he may take the yellow 23. here. The black certainly doesn't pot. The yellow almost definitely pots. So, yeah. 
Well, oh, he's having a look at the green here now. Tricky shot here. I don't blame him here. That's a In goes the green. Now, if he keeps coming, he might me. be on the red to the middle pocket here. Or actually, there's a red. See that red? Uh, see that cluster of three and the red just to the right of it? He's on that. And he can play this as a stun screw and get on the pink if he likes, but he's going to go up the table for the blue. Worst case scenario, if he's not on the blue, he'll get the uh, he'll get the second prize in the yellow. All depends on what he fancies. He's going for the yellow here. For me, the yellow might be a good shot here because even if he doesn't get on the red, he's got 29. the uh, red into the middle. But this red under the black, I didn't even see that. That pots. That pots, folks. And that's in. And he's uh, freed another red up Good. now. He's on the black here. But he's not looking at the black. He's going straight for the blue here. It's going to be, uh, this is going to be a pretty good shot. He's going to run this through this a stun. He's stunned it. Now, Wonderful shot. 35. you got to play this really slow to get on the black here. He's coming down towards the black, but Nicely that blue may be tempting him again. 36. No, he's going for the black. It's time to get some big meaty points on the uh, on the card. Up and down the table, he's got the red at the top uh, here. And he, Forty-three. Well, the black certainly doesn't pot into this pocket that this red's going, so he may have to look at the pink here. So this he's going to go twice the across right the table. Watch this. No issues there. Excellent cue. Well, he's not on the pink. I tell you what, that position looks good on the black. 44. No, he's looking at the blue. Sooner or later, going for these blues, he's going to uh, he's gonna do something. Well, it's I'm gonna not hurt surprised him. he's taking on the long pot here. That's another good pot now. What you 49. want? The answer is nothing. The only red you're on is this one next to the black. Does it even pot? You've been putting all your eggs in one basket here for uh, this needed. pot, I must say. Close, not, but not quite. quite. But he blocks it off with the brown. That's a great recovery. 49. That second prize right there. And now Mark Allen's left it. Mark Allen's left it, required. folks. And in it That's goes. Just magnificent. Oh, I tell you what, if you're, if you're nice on the pink, take the pink here. In this frame. Take that One. pink. And run for the hills. Seven. Hmm. It's 50. Well, the frame's More over. More than half a chance here. Oh, that's a cracking what red. Amazing. That's a cracking red. The frame is over, folks. He's going for the left corner. So, uh, Elliot will win. Down it goes. The uh, the second frame. It's all about now. How does He's he want to, to uh, hammer his point home? Pocket. If I was him, I'd hammer his point Nicely home fairly done. comfortably. 16. And that uh, comfortable point is that, uh, yeah. Well, we all know what that comfortable point is, don't we? It's going to stun this across, play for the red in the same pocket. That goes in. Fair dinkum, as they say, in Australia. Speaking of Australia, I'd like to give a, a big shout out this time to my uh, my Australian YouTube buddy, Trent Cornell. His name is Ah Godzilla. 
In goes the red. He's uh, he enjoyed himself uh, as we speak, hopefully. Partners uh, recently give birth to a beautiful little girl. So this green's for uh, his beautiful little girl. And I'll leave a card up for uh, Trent's uh, channel in the color. corner. Go drop him uh, some love. 27. Tell him that the rock star sent you. It's going to Just screw the this, remaining on the soft table screw now. this uh, yellow in. So if you are uh, watching there, Trent, uh, hello to you, hello to Jackie, hello to little Olivia. I think that was her name. I probably just embarrassed myself by getting her name wrong. And if I have, I apologise. In goes the br This brown should be formality. Stun back for the blue into the middle pocket. And not quite uh, a stun back, but uh, it's good enough. <clears throat> oh, he's going to screw. Watch this. Screw across the table, pink into the uh, opposite court pocket. That's how you play that shot. 41. That is how you play that shot, folks. And let me assure you. The pace. In goes the pink and this black for a table clearance. Not uh, quite a full clearance, but enough of a, a clearance. It's going to be for a break of 56 to go with uh, the break he scored earlier. And uh, we will be going to a decided frame. What a clearance that was. Superb. I think you'll uh, agree that was uh, good guts there from Elliot. One frame required to finish off the match. What a great opportunity. This is a great opportunity to finish off the match. He so Mark Allen is going to... Wow, what a break from Mark Allen. Thank you that's going to put him frame. in trouble. Mark Allen to break. If he's left that red, that's got to put him in trouble. No way Elliot's not going to capitalise on this. He has to capitalise on this, folks. On this shot. Impressive In it goes. Red. Boom. Now, if that pink's looking uh, very One. inviting. I will, uh, I will admit that there. And it's a case of which red are you going to play for here. Maybe playing for the one that's uh, just to the right of the white there. But he's got uh, this one really here well as well. Played. Now, my only concern is, look, uh, oh, I tell you what, if he plays this as the uh, shot I think he's going to play for, he's going to land on the black here. <clears throat> Bit of a stun run through, use that red as a buffer. Eight. And there you go, he's on the black. Now, the black spot looks uh, preoccupied here, so we're going to have to find another space for the black, I think. Fifteen. Nope, it's uh, not preoccupied. But let's hope Elliot doesn't make the same mistake he made last time, shall we? Stuns past the red. Oh, just gives it a little nudge. That's fine. That'll put him nicely 16. on the blue. You can see that the black, the black definitely doesn't pot at this time. Well, no surprises hmm. here. We'll you may be, be long playing for one of these reds on the side cushion here. In goes the blue. Or if not, I see shot. which red he's playing for. 21. No, he's definitely playing for it. That's, uh... Well, I don't know. I don't know about this, uh, if I'm being honest. I'm going to play for this blue in the top 22. corner again, because that black won't pass that red. <clears throat> that That is a definite. Long pot. But in right clearing that street. red out of the way, he's now made another red available into the bottom corner what pocket. What a wonderful pot. And this is going to look easier to get back on the blue here as well. Unless he's going he's gonna to play it stun dead. Hey, I tell you Nicely what. Nicely done. I've just noticed this. Is that pink pot? This pink. 28. That, if that pink pots, that's a game changer. It did. A shot! I didn't even see the pink. Thirty-four. It's got a nice little avenue to get through there. It's not quite a Madison Avenue, but uh, definitely an avenue. Gonna flick off the pink now. The pink doesn't pop. 
And he may be uh, end of break here. 35. Unless he takes this blue into the middle pocket. This is being if he takes the blue into the middle, the pocket, middle pocket. Oh, he does. Well, what a shot. Now, what, what are you landing on? What are you landing on, Elliot? Oh, the answer is nothing. 40. Oh, that's frustrating. Well, I'll tell you what, this red next to the black goes. But so does that red up to the top corner. I don't know. This, this is pretty risky if you ask me. If he makes this, he's going to look like an absolute genius. If he doesn't make this, Mark Allen might win this frame. Tricky pot coming up. So oh, close, he just rattled the jaws. That'll annoy him. I don't mind when Elliot they just Flesser, rattle on the 40. jaw, but uh, that was close. Left corner here. Let, let's be honest, that was really close. One. Six. So in goes the... What went in there? We've got a red in. I think the blue Seven. went in. Twelve. So all, all of this is going to see where Mark 13. finishes up. He may win this match. 16. Or he may not now. Oh, he played safe. He's got Mark the black Allen, free. 16. But he's left nothing. Well, I say he's left nothing. Oh, dear me. Uh, I don't know about this shot, Elliot. I think you've left a red. It's a half chance, a but uh, I think you've left one, mate. This could be the match right here. And there you go. One. The only thing that's going to save him now Seven. is probably the three reds on the side cushion. But even then, I'd say... Eight. It's not likely that uh, he's going to be saved. So, yeah. It's uh, it's looking like Elliot's going to take a, a W here, folks. Sorry, uh, an L. In goes the blue. 13. But that that's fine. 14. Because Elliot's already through to the uh, next round. 21. This red uh, down... The, he's going to go for the red down the cushion, or is he going to go for the... Yeah, he's going to go for the red down the cushion, get that 22. out of the way. In goes the black. 29. Not uh, perfect on this red by any stretch. In, go, in it goes, though. Black should be the shot here, yeah. Black got halfway up the... Wow, that's 37. a lot of distance here between white and red. This is missable. That is missable. Mark Allen, 37. I tell you what, there may be a double. If Elliot goes like for the double here, this is good. Tight on the cushion here. Mulligan. He's he went for the triple! Oh! One. He went for the triple! What a shot! Oh, what a shot! I did not see the triple. I I actually had the double. Off two cushions for the yellow, so Elliot now still wins this match. Somehow he wins this match. Unless he makes an absolute howler right about... Oh, I'd say now. <laughs> see what I mean? Howler. This green and will go into the same pocket the yellow just went, but it's awfully close. He's got to play it so slow to get on the chance. brown. It's in, though. Excellent pot. Super. Is that white going to hit the knuckle? Yes, it is. Now. 13. 
It's brown, and then what? Where, He's well, to is he going to take the blue into, into the, the uh... pocket? Oh, good lord! I don't like this blue. Seventeen. I really don't like this blue. If this goes in, Elliot wins. If it doesn't go in, well, we know what's going to happen. Tough shot coming up. But he slow rolled in it. Look at Brilliant that for shot. a shot. That's great Just the pink control. required. Excellent position. He'll stun this it in. Required. And Elliot f is going to win this from the jaws of defeat, folks. 28. All thanks to Mark Allen's absolute insanity on that red. Great victory. 35. Phew! Frame and match, Elliot Slesser. He's come through this quarterfinal and now the semi-final beckons. I can hardly believe that uh, he's actually done that. That, that, was, uh, that was just a, a cracking result. It means that uh, he's going to be full of confidence going into the semi-final now. So uh, let's go and see who uh, Elliot plays in the semi-final of the uh, Championship League, shall we? I bet it's going to be Ronnie, isn't it? Well, there we have it then, folks. Elliot, another victory. And we're now into the semi-final of the Championship winners to face Kyron Wilson. So guys, 25 likes on the video if you'd be so kind. Get subscribed if you haven't already done so for more Snooker 19 career mode, more F1 2020 my team career mode, Marvel Spider-Man, whatever we play on Sundays. We'll see you on Thursday for the semi-final and we'll see you tomorrow for the Singapore Grand Prix. See you then, folks.